We begin tonight in Narua, Wahia, 20k north of Hamilton, an hour and a bit south of Auckland. There, people are mourning the death of an 11-year-old girl killed by a train on the town's rail bridge last night. On sunny days after school and in the weekends and holidays, the bridge is a hugely popular spot for young locals. And despite warning after warning, they continue to walk over it and jump off it into the Waikato River below. A nine-year-old boy was killed on the bridge in 2002. There have been so many near misses, people have lost count. In 2013, Kiwi Rail urged locals to keep children off the bridge. In 2015, the same word, urged, this time with police joining in. In a moment, we'll hear from the local fire chief who thinks it's time something other than urging was tried. But first, from Narawa Wahia, here's our Waikato reporter, Andrew McRae. The girl was believed to be walking across the bridge with friends when a southbound freight train hit her. The bridge has fences either side of the line at both ends, but access to the track and bridge is still very easy. Peter Tutawa has lived in the town for 10 years. He regards the actions of anyone going on to the bridge as foolhardy. Well, you know, that it's a long drop too. Eh? So uh, do they know what's underneath the railway lines and the bridge there? Could be anything down below the in the water. Polly Martin takes exception to a claim that jumping off the bridge is a rite of passage for young people. I was born and bred in this town. We never had um, fatality like this. In our days, not that I jump off the bridge, but I do know a lot of people did, but they never had a problem like this. And you know, when they see a train, they get off. And when the train passes, they get back. But here, it's a different generation again. So, you know, it goes in this ear and out the other ear. Cherie Rao says she feels frightened every time she sees young people on the bridge. I think it's stupid. I think that they should put cages there so that people can't walk on it or a walkway for them to jump off it so that they don't jump, walk along the railway, something like that, just so that it's safer for them because they're not going to stop. They're going to continue to do so. so. 18-year-old Jake says he's never jumped off the bridge, but knows heaps of friends who have. Now, why do they do it? I don't know. There's like nowhere to jump apart from the bridge, but I don't know why they do it. I never asked them that. So I guess thrill-seeking, maybe? Yeah. Some oh. people say it's, it's seen as a, a rite of passage, that every young person in Narohia has the right to do it as they're growing up. What do you think of that? No, we don't have the right to do it. Um, heats of accidents have happened. You've never heard of that, about being a rite of passage? No. The feeling that nothing will really change is a common message in the town. It's what they've always done, so that's what they do, and you won't stop it. Sue has lived in Narawahia all her life and says she never went on the bridge when she was young because she was too scared. She says the only way to stop it is for parents to take responsibility. Unless the parents go down there and pull their kids off stop them from climbing. And, and you can't be with your children 24-7, so it's just the way it is. There are some people in the town who don't accept that it is just the way it is. Jack Ears was part of a group who saw the mayor only a week ago to talk about the problem and to organise a public meeting. Kiwi Rail have, yeah, have done quite a lot of things, have tried things, have got fences and things there, but all it means is the the, you know, the children have to come from a bit further back and they can still get in there. And anything they put that makes it more difficult, the children see it as a, a challenge. And, and that's something that they want to do and um, carry on doing it. Jack Ears says the community must seize the initiative and get together to work out solutions before another person dies on the bridge. The Mayor of Waikato District, Alan Sanson, seems as lost as most people on coming up with a solution. Kiwi Rail, along with ourselves, have worked really hard to uh, put security fencing up around it and uh, up around underneath and around the sides and things like that. But at the end of the day, you can't block the passage of the uh, track itself. It's a, lot, a bit like putting a gate on the road. You know, somebody's going to drive through it or somebody's going to take it down sooner or later. And um, uh, the problem is here is actually trying to get kids to um, not walk onto the track, be educated enough to not do that. Kiwi Rail says it was a tragic event the train driver couldn't do anything about. The chief executive, Peter Reedy, says a whole new approach to solving the problem is needed. I don't think the infrastructure is going to completely fix it. Yes, we could investigate, and I know it's been mentioned technically uh, gating, but you've got to be careful when you put a control in like that. Sometimes you create other risks as well.
Peter Reedy says the community needs to become more involved in finding solutions. A public meeting is likely to be held in Narawahia in a few weeks' time. For Checkpoint, Core Andrew McCray, TNA.